So the Canon M50 is one of the best all around cameras for YouTubers and content creators, but there is one must have accessory that you need to take your video footage to a whole nother level. And we're gonna break it down in this video. This video is brought to you by Skillshare, an online learning community with over 25,000 classes on video editing, graphic design, photography, business, and so much more. A premium membership gets you access to high quality classes where you can learn the skills you need to thrive as a content creator and entrepreneur so you can do the work you love. It's super affordable with an annual subscription coming in at less than $10 a month. And I love getting access to classes from business experts and even YouTube creators like John Olson's class on photography and Sarah Dietschy's class on how to vlog better. Join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare today and the first 500 Think Media subscribers to use the link in the description will get a two month free trial. Just click the link in the description to get started today. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And I'm here with Dave from Kino Tika. How's it going? It's going great. Man, I'm super pumped. We're at CES, but we've been talking about an accessory that you've been using on the Canon M50 that's an absolute game changer. What is it and what does it do? So this is actually a speed booster for the EFM mount for the M50. Essentially what that means is you put a full frame lens on this camera and it functions almost like a true full frame camera. For people who aren't aware of that, basically it means the image is going to look a little bit more blurry in the background because you get more depth of field. You also get a little bit more light as well when you're shooting in dark environments. Yeah, and so really one of the things we recommend if you have a Canon M50, of course you can get the native EFM lenses, but you can also adapt your EF lenses, your full-size camera lenses to the camera, and Canon's adapter for that costs around $200. And then that just gives you access, it gives you all the autofocus features. This operates basically like that. This is only $156 at the time of shooting this video. We'll post links in the description below if you want to check out exact prices. But but what it does is not only allows you to put those EF lenses on there, but it makes them even better. And so it's like a win-win-win, right? Yeah, exactly. It's kind of silly that this is cheaper than Canon's own adapter, and this has a glass element inside of it that does all this magic that the Canon one doesn't do. And We've done some tests with this here, and maybe we could play some B-roll now, but you can see that the autofocus on this compared to the actual Canon one is still performing very well. In fact, it seems to be no different than the Canon adapter. Absolutely, and yeah, in these tests, what we saw is that again, if you put this 50 millimeter lens on the normal Canon adapter, there's that crop factor, so it zooms in a ton. This is now pulling it back, so it's that full frame equivalent, meaning, right, that 50 millimeters on the, on the camera is 50 millimeters when shooting at 1080p. Yeah. Yeah, roughly. It's about a 1.2, 1.1x crop instead of a true 1x, but let's just go ahead and say it's, you know, roughly full frame. To put it simply, what a speed booster is, is a wide angle lens in front of your lens. So what's happening is the sensor is shooting through this wide angle lens, which is now capturing more of that lens that it's actually mounted to, which is how you're getting all that extra image. There's, there's a true glass element right here that's capturing all that. And it kind of does the magic. And then the one other really cool thing about this is, you know, we love the fact that the M50 has 4K, but we don't use it a ton because the 4K footage does have a more extreme crop factor. This now makes your 4K use of the Canon M50 much more practical, right? Absolutely, this camera can shoot 4K, and believe it or not, the image quality is very good, especially for the price point, but there's a huge crop, and of course you do lose the dual pixel autofocus, which you know we don't have to get into that, but essentially with the speed booster, it brings that crop back to a much more usable perspective so if you use a Sigma 18 to 35 1.8, which is a very popular lens, I know that you use that lens as well, you can actually use that lens in the way it's supposed to be used at the proper focal length. Yeah, and another benefit here is you're actually getting shallower depth of field. You're getting more aperture performance, right? Because because of the speed booster, a 1.8 could turn into basically a 1.2, right? That's right. It, if you aren't familiar with speed boosters, I recommend just going on Google because we're probably not going to give you the exact science here. But essentially, this 1.8 lens that only costs about 
150 bucks is now performing as a 1.2 lens. We're getting the full use of this full frame lens. That's the big thing and it's amazing. You mentioned how uh, with 4K you do lose that dual pixel autofocus. Well, one thing that's great about the M50 compared to other Canon cameras like the SL2, for example, is you actually have focus peaking on this camera. So if you want to shoot manual focus in 4K, it is doable because the focus peaking is really great. And that is basically giving you like uh, confirmation whether or not you're in focus with little red dots. <laughs> yes, super, super cool. So when we were shooting uh, Heather here at CES, you know, when it was cropped in on the normal mount adapter, it looked all right and looks good because the M50's got a great picture. But then, boom, when we did this, you could even see the depth of field is beautiful. You get that wider shot. So just so much more versatility, making this an absolute essential add, I think, to anybody's kit. You could price it out and maybe grab it on eBay or new in box. And so, again, check out links in the description below. And you were even mentioning, like, this is a little bit even superior than the EOS R in ways. Yeah, well, uh, superior mostly in, in budget. I think it's amazing that you can get this setup here for under a thousand dollars with the, I mean, it's actually like not even, it's like 700, right? Um, so with this speed booster on the M50, your 4K is actually slightly less of a crop than on the EOS R. Granted, the EOS R has a lot of other benefits, of course. It's a more pro camera, uh, and it does have autofocus in 4K. But it's kind of amazing that for under $1,000, you're getting a camera that is doing things that the $2,000 camera can't do. Well, I love it. And Dave, I appreciate you sharing uh, all your uh, wisdom, and you have a lot of valuable content that you're sharing online. So if people want to follow you and connect with you, where are you at? We're at Kinatika. It's spelled K-I-N-O-T-I-K-A. You'll see that on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, we got more stuff on the on, in the works as well. So just follow me on Twitter, at Dave Altizer. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the Canon M50, including how to set your camera up for the best photos and the best videos, we actually have an entire playlist out. So I'll link that up on the YouTube card and post it in the description below. Question of the day, what do you think about this speed booster? And are you planning on getting any new accessories this year for your cameras, whether that's lighting or mics or any kind of accessories at all? Let me know in the comment section below.